We've talked about the upper half of the AR-15. Let's talk about the lower. Hello and welcome to the Stinger Workshop. My name is Rick Barrett and I am your host for these series of videos where we talk about everything in the gun community from gun parts to gun accessories. Today, we're gonna to continue discussing the AR-15 platform. We've already talked about the history of it, we've talked about uppers, and we've talked about the barrels. So we're gonna continue by talking about the lower half of the AR-15. And the parts we're gonna be talking about in the lower of the AR-15 consists of the lower receiver, the trigger group, the butt stock, the buffer tube, and the grip. Now let's talk about the lower of the AR-15. When talking about the lower of the AR-15, let's talk about the lower receiver itself. The reason we're doing that is because it is the serialized part of the AR-15, meaning that is where the serial number is. What does that mean? The serial number is what is going to be used in the NICS background check when you purchase a firearm at a gun store or at a gun show. You're gonna fill out a 4473 and this serial number is gonna go on that. And that serial number is located on the lower receiver of the AR-15. So whether you buy the lower by itself or as part of a completed AR-15, that serial number is gonna be found on the lower receiver. Now that we've discussed the lower of the AR-15, let's talk about the components that you'll find on it or in it. The first and most important part being the trigger group. Now the trigger group is what enables the AR-15 to fire the bullet. And when you get an AR-15 off the shelf, if you were to get one at a gun store or at a gun show, it's gonna have what they call a single stage trigger. A single stage trigger means that it has one continuous range of motion. The other type of trigger that you'll find on more expensive AR-15s or on the aftermarket is something called a dual stage trigger or sometimes it's called a two stage trigger. Now, a dual stage trigger or two stage trigger requires an extra pull range to facilitate firing. Once again, most of us will have single stage triggers when we purchase our AR-15s and for a lot of us, whether it's self-defense or it's going hunting or plinking, the single stage trigger is gonna be enough for our needs. However, if you'd like, you can always upgrade to a dual stage or two stage trigger on your AR-15. The next part or component that I wanna discuss on the lower of the AR-15 is something that is overlooked by everybody, and that is the pistol grip that comes attached to your AR-15. Now your standard pistol grip on an AR-15 is gonna be very generic. But if it is uncomfortable to you, it is going to hinder your accuracy because you're gonna be focusing on it instead of focusing on the target and on the sights. So when you're looking at pistol grips, either on a high-end AR-15 or on the secondary market, there are three things that you need to consider. Those three things being ergonomics, texture, and grip angle. There are hundreds of different types of pistol grips on the aftermarket, varying from very inexpensive to wildly expensive, depending on what your specific needs are for your AR-15. The next part we're gonna talk about on the lower of your AR-15 is the buffer or buffer tube. Now the buffer tube is important to your recoil management system because the buffer helps absorb a lot of the kick, making your shooting experience more seamless. The right buffer can give you an edge over your competitors as you'll be able to shoot accurately for longer periods of time. Now the buffer tube housed both the buffer and the buffer spring. Together, these components slow down the faster parts of your rifle's action, protecting both themselves and the frame. This ensures that the integrity of your weapon remains intact. As with the trigger group and the grip, there are modifications and different types of buffer springs and buffer tubes you can get on the aftermarket for your AR-15 if you choose so. The last thing we're gonna talk about when discussing the AR-15 lower is the buttstock. The buttstock is important because how your rifle rests on your shoulder plays a major role in your overall shooting experience. It's easy to get distracted if you're uncomfortable, much like the pistol grip. If you're not comfortable with your pistol grip, you're not gonna be focused on your sights. 
Same thing with the buttstock. If it doesn't fit well or if it's not comfortable, you're gonna find yourself more distracted and your shooting experience is not gonna be as enjoyable. In the simplest of terms, the stock is the part of your AR-15 that connects to the rifle's firing mechanisms. When looking at the butt stocks of the AR-15, you're going to find that they come in two categories, fixed and collapsible. Like most other parts of the gun that we've talked about in this video, there are a huge array of different types of butt stocks available to you. So you can have a variety of combinations to find that experience that is most comfortable for you. And that's it for today's video. We've given you an overall view of how the lower parts of the AR-15 work. Talking about the receiver, the trigger group, the grip, the buffer tube, and the buttstock. Thanks for stopping by the Stinger Workshop. My name is Rick Barrett. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk again soon.